Roar! <laughs> hey, Pretty Stranger by Crystallites. I think you look cute. Chirp, chirp. The sound of birds chirping made someone whine. He sounded very tired, but mostly irritated because of the birds who were unintentionally annoying him. He finally stopped whining for about two minutes and decided to go back to sleep. Ring, 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 ring. The sound of the alarm clock made him whine again, but this time louder. He managed to turn off the clock by tossing a ball he found sitting next to him. That was unexpected, he commented. He got up and tried to find his glasses. On his way, he silently cursed his failing eyesight. He bumped into something and saw himself, although it was blurry. His messy red hair, yellow-orange skin with light apple-greenish-gray spots, facial hair and, of course, his gradient black cyan eyes with Ibex bellow. He wore a long coat with a dark cornflower blue color and some star design with a cyan color alongside with his white suit and pants with a matching color of his coat. He also wore a white rectangular pin with his name on it. Sunburst. <laughs> He heard a familiar voice laughing. He quickly turned his face around to see what was going on. When he turned his face and investigated, he saw a girl with a red hair covered with yellow streaks and they somewhat shared a similar skin tone, but hers was a bit lighter. Her lovely emerald green eyes were about to produce a tear because of laughing so hard. It turns out, this lady here is actually his older sister, Sunset Shimmer. Since Sunburst was confused and curious why she's laughing, he immediately asked, Sunset, why are you laughing? Sunset Shimmer didn't reply but pointed to him and then to the mirror instead. She was still laughing, but now with tears of joy. Sunset realized that his sister was laughing because he was staring at himself in the mirror for about five minutes or longer, as if he don't know what he looks like. He then coughed and asked with a very annoyed tone, Uh, a little help on finding my glasses, please? Sunset Shimmer stopped laughing, then nodded in agreement and helped him find his glasses. Before she could continue to help her little brother, she wiped the last tear of joy she felt, then immediately continued to help him. There you go, said Sunset Shimmer who found it first. Sunburst smiled widely and thanked her. Ah, thanks sis. Anyways, what brings you here? Do you need a book? Oh, oh, let me guess. You need more quilts, right? Or probably more paper? Sunburst asked while wearing the biggest smile with all the materials beside him. Sunset Shimmer chuckled, then put a smirk on her face which was familiar to Sunburst. He sighed and gave her a not really interested face. Uh, new student in Cantalot High to welcome, he said with a toneless tone. Yep, aren't you excited? She's going to have breakfast with us which starts in an hour, so try to dress up nicely. Your sister slash president of school is on her way to do a very important job. <laughs> Sunset squealed with delight, not knowing that she was actually shouting in front of her brother. Chill, okay? You don't have to shout at me. Sunset looked at Sunburst with an apologetic smile. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sunburst was almost ready. He was about to go out, but then Sunset refused Sunburst to look like a loser and that's why his hair was forcefully combed by her. He went to his bedroom after to check the time and then he realized that it only took him 20 minutes to prepare and be ready. Sunburst thought it would be nice if he will go out for a walk, so without further ado, he ran to the front door and told Sunset he was leaving and that he will catch up with her later. Before Sunset could reply, she already heard him closing the door with a bang. Sunset was supposed to say no, but then Sunburst already went outside, so she sighed and continued her relaxing bath time. 
As soon as Sunburst got out in their dorm, he quickly gets a book in his saddlebag and began reading. Question magic, oh this is so exciting! He thought to himself. He was reading continuously that he bumped into different persons, likely strangers. Eh, watch where you're going! Sorry. He was now walking and reading outside the gates of Cantalot High and later on found himself at the park. Elements of harmony? Gosh, this is getting so intense! We have laughter on his... Ah! He fell into the ground after he bumped something... or someone. He opened his eyes a little and he then get his glasses where he immediately saw beside him and wore it. Lucky for him, it didn't shattered into pieces. He was about to stand up, but then he realized that there was something heavy in his chest. He got up and tried to sit down on the grass field. He saw a girl with a dark purple hair covered with a lighter purple and pale aquamarine highlights. Her cute moderate Persian blue eyes were wide and she was sweating and forcing a smile. She was laying at the chest of sunburst, but he knew it was just an accident. I'm sorry about that. She quickly got up and reached her hand to him. Need help? She said with a smile. Sunburst noticed the heat he felt on his cheeks then began to stammer. Y yes please. He got up with the help from... Uh, a stranger? Thanks and sorry about that. It's fine, no worries. And just like that they parted ways heading to an opposite direction. But there was something that bothered Sunburst. Why does she look familiar? He murmured. He then turned his head to take a quick look from the stranger, then realized she did the same. They wore an embarrassed smile on their faces and both we are red. That's when the stranger waved goodbye to him and then ran, but she's still red. Part of Sunburst was sad because he didn't have the chance to ask her name. But nonetheless, he still focused on his book. Right, uh, where was I? After reading three quarters of the book, he then checked the time in his watch he didn't know he brought. After he checked the time, he looked like his soul went out of his body for a second and his skin tone became much more pale and lighter compared to his sister's. He then topped it with a matching shock face. Oh no, I'm late! Very late! Sunset's gonna kill me! He was running very fast as if it was the end of the world and then went to Sunset who was already done giving a tour to the new students as well as eating breakfast with her. Sunset gave Sunburst a death glare which he returned with a sheepish smile. She then murmured to him, We're gonna talk after this, which made Sunburst gulp. Sunburst then looked at the new student and noticed that she was a stranger he bumped earlier. Now that he saw her face clearly, he heard his heart whispering to him, Starlight Glimmer. Okay, Sunburst, this is Star... It's nice to meet you again, Starlight. Likewise. Starlight held Sunburst's hand, which was supposed to be for a handshake. She pulled his hand and hugged him tightly, which he happily returned. She was a bit emotional that time, but Sunburst comforted her. Sunset's jaw dropped. She wasn't expecting something like this to happen. Then a picture fell from the pocket of Starlight Glimmer. Sunset closed her mouth and decided to pick it up for her. When she picked it up, she saw little sunburst and little starlight in a the picture. There was a text written above it and it says, Sunburst, stranger I met that turned into my childhood best friend. Hello, and once again, this is Common Time with Visual Pony, and I have to remind you that I have a Patreon account. The link is down in the description. Every dollar helps is needed and very much appreciated. The perks, for example, are that you get access to the Minecraft realm of Pony and Wolf Productions and can participate in monthly, well, almost monthly, depends on how well I can put things together, dungeon runs or challenge maps in Minecraft. Also, you get early access to all of my stuff. Anyhow, let's begin and let me tell you this story is... It's kind of sweet. I like it. However, it has problems. As you might have heard, 
the writing isn't the best. But then again, I chose this story as an example that this the author themselves say that this is their first fanfic. And yes, it has issues. It has issues with the grammar. The spelling is actually spot on, except I think one at, at one point, yes, where there's uh, like Sunburst's name tag. Uh, the Sunburst doesn't have a capital S there, but oh my god, totally f forgivable. There are a few grammatic errors, mistakes here, but overall, I personally think that this is a very nice and wholesome story, and that this author should definitely keep at it, practice their grammar a little bit, and keep improving. The idea here is very nice, very wholesome. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to maybe see more of them in the future. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my throat right now. But um, I'm definitely giving this story an upvote. I just did. And yeah, give this also some love. Encourage them to keep going and to improve with further projects. I am Visual Pony, signing off.